Hi there, I'm Pam Carr and I've made this um, headband called Starla Headband and it uses the star stitch which is such a beautiful stitch. So I've written a pattern for it and put it on my blog, it's free on my blog, but I also want to share a video here showing you how to make the star stitch just in case the written instructions are a little bit confusing. <laughs> So I'm going to be using some yarn from my stash. It's a number four uh, worsted weight, or in England, I think it's referred to as Aran. And I've got an eye hook. An eye hook's a little bit bigger than an H. It's um, actually 5.5 millimeter. So um, that's what I'm going to be using to make the star stitch for you today. And we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then we always want to start out with an odd number of chains so we end up with an even number of stitches in our row because we always work into the second chain from the hook, right? So I'm going to do um, 15 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, I'll just go to the end. Okay? I actually went a little bit longer and I went with 19, okay? Because I think that is going to give a better impression of the stitch, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the second chain from the hook, not that first one, but the second one. And we're going to wrap our yarn over and pull it up as if we were going to do a single crochet. But we're not going to go any further. We're going to stop there. Then we're going to go into the third chain, yarn over, pull it up and now you see we have three loops into the next chain yarn over pull it up and all of a sudden we've got four into the next chain we've got five into the next chain we've got six okay so now we've got the six on there we're going to put the yarn over and we're going to pull it through all of those loops I, you see how I pull down here to create a bit of tension and we're going to do a chain one to fasten it off. Now when you look at this you'll see there's this little circle there. That's called the eye. All right and we're going to be using that to make our second star. We've got one star made. So we're going to take our hook and we're going to put it right into the middle of that star. Yarn over, pull it up. Okay that's our the next one we're going to look at our spikes that are sticking out here and we're going to go between these last two spikes here and we're going to wrap it over and pull it up and now we've got three now we've got this last chain here that we worked into that's quite a big gap so we're going to put it in there and pull it up four and then we're going to go into the next chain five and the next chain six Make sure one, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, pull down tight here so you make a bit of a gap for your hook to go through. And it should go through there just nicely. Okay? And then chain one. And we have done our second star. And here you can see our second eye. It's kind of where you do the chain one. Okay? So we're going to go directly into that eye, take our hook, go right into the middle of the eye, yarn over, pull it up. Then we're going to look at our nice little curving, they sort of curve around. Those are all our spikes. We're going to go in between these last two here, yarn over, pull it through. Then we're going to go into the bigger hole that was stretched from the chain that was our last chain used. Then we're going to go into the next chain and then we're going to go into the next chain pull it up and how many have we got one two three four five six yarn over pull down and go through those six loops and chain one so you can see this is a bit of a yarn eater okay so now we've got our third star we should have one, two, and there's our third eye, okay? So I'm going to hold it up close to the camera for you. We're going to put our hook right into the eye, yarn over and pull it up. Then we're going to look at all these spikes going down and we're going to go into the last, between the last two, 
right there and pull it up. And then we have kind of a gaping chain. That's the last chain that we worked into. So we're going to put our hook in there and pull one up. And then we go into each of the next two chains in order to get six loops. One, pull it up. Two, pull it up. And then just check one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull it down on those spikes, those loops that are going to turn into spikes and chain one. So we're going to do that all the way across. I'll talk you through one more, okay? First of all, we're going to go into that hole at the top, that eye, pull it through. Then in between the last two here, yarn over, pull it through. Then into the last chain that we worked in, pull it through, then into the next chain, pull it through, and into the next chain, pull it through. And we should have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and pull it through all six. Now if you need to repeat this, you can go back to the beginning and watch it again one more time. Where are we going to go first of all? Into the eye, okay? So we're going into the eye, yarn over, pull it through, in between those last two legs that we had there, into the last, into that ch chain that's kind of a big chain there, and then into the next two regular chains. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Create some tension by pulling. Yarn over and pull it through for six loops and chain one. So I'm gonna let you finish going across, but this is what it's starting to look like. And every time to start your fresh chain, to, I mean, sorry, to start your fresh star, you're always gonna be going in to that high. That's your first pull up, okay? Second pull up is in between the last two um, little spikes going down. Next pull up is into that last chain you worked into when, when you were creating that star. And then we're going to go two more. And then pull it over and go through all those six. And chain one. Okay, so maybe try... Oh, we're at the end. <laughs> so here we are at the end. All we have to do is double crochet into that last ditch. And we're there. Good. Now... To do the next row, it's really easy because this next row is only made with half double crochets. So we're going to chain two and that's going to act as the first half double crochet. Now this row, we're going to be working two half double crochets into each of these eyes. And they're not so easy to see from the back, but you can see them. Okay. Each eye is going to get two. So we've got the very first eye is right here. So we're going to do two, wrap the yarn over into that eye, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, go through three. Yarn over, go straight into the same eye, yarn over and pull it up, yarn over and go through the three. Now we're going to look for our other eye. There it is. So yarn over before you go in, into that eye, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, go through the three, that's a half double crochet, Yarn over into the same eye, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, pull it through the three. There's your second double crochet into that eye. Now the next one, yarn over and let's find our, our next eye right here, okay? Into that eye, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, go through the three, yarn over into the eye, the same one, yarn over, second half double crochet. Now we're going to go into the next one. Okay, yarn over before you go in, into that eye, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over through the three, one half double crochet, yarn over into the same eye, yarn over, pull it up, yarn over, and there we go, two into that one. And now we're going to go into this next one here, okay? Yarn over, into that eye, yarn over, through one, and 
two half double crochets. Here's our next die. Yarn over into that next one. One half double crochet, two half double crochets. And here's our final eye. One half double crochet, two half double crochets. And then I have two half double crochets in the last stitch. One, two. And that is the end of the half double crochet row. And that's going to happen between every star row. So see how pretty it's starting to look? So now we're going to turn our work and we're going to, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Every time we start a star stitch row now, I'm going to drop my yarn down there because it's getting in the way. We are going to chain three at the beginning of the star stitch row, okay? And how this works is we are going to be working into, um, let's just start again here. Turn our work. I think it's better to turn your work and then chain three. One, two, three, so that we can work into those chains because we have to do that as we're going down. So remember to turn your work and then to chain three. Okay, now we're going to go into the second one, not the first chain, the second one, and pull up a loop. Then we're going to go into the third one and we're going to pull up a loop. And then we're going to go into the first stitch and pull up a loop. And then we're going to work into the next stitch and pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only the first star that we make uses up those chains at the beginning of the row. So there we go. So that helps us to make our star. See how it's going up nice and straight? Now, of course, what do you think we're going to be doing for the next star? We're going to be going into that eye, okay? So we go into the eye and pull up a loop. And then we find those last two, and we go in between them, and we pull up a loop. And then here's our last stitch that, that we worked into from the previous, and we pull up a loop. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. So now we go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, that was four, sorry, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself here, and one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we pull through and chain. So let's go into the eye, pull up a loop, into that space between the last two, right there, pull up a loop, into the big introductory one there, pull up a loop. And then we're going to go into two more, I think. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, pull through, and chain one. Now we've got three new stars. One, two, three. To make our next star, we go into the eye, wrap the yarn over, pull up a loop. Then we look and we find that V in between those last two. We're going to go in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, then we're going to go into that large stitch there, pull up a loop, then we're going to go into the next one, stitch, pull up a loop, one, two, three, four, five, so we go into the next stitch, pull up another loop, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, pull through. And chain one. So I'm going to let you finish this row on your. So I think we're actually at the last one here. So I'm going to. Um, don't put your yarn over. Remember, whenever you go into the eye, you just go in with a hook. One, wrap the yarn over and pull it out. That gives you two. Then in between the last two spikes, pull it up. In between the big stitch there. Then into one stitch. Into two stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and pull. Pull it through, chain one, 
So here we're at the last stitch and we're going to chain, we're going to do two half double crochets. Oh, just wait, I should check. I think it might be just one. No, that's right, just one half double crochet. So now we're going to chain two and turn our work and we're going to make another half double crochet row. So these half double crochets are being worked into the eye, right? So yarn over and we're going to go into the first eye here. One, two. And then we're going to find our second eye right there and do two half double crochets in there. One, two. And then we're going to find our next eye and two half double crochets in there. Remember yarn over before you put your hook in. <laughs> this is a little bit different than the stars. One, two. The next eye, one, two into that one. The next eye, one, two into that one, and the last eye, one, two, and then I think we do two in the last one, last stitch, one, two, and we're going to chain Turn our work and then chain three, right? Turn our work, chain three, one, two, three. So here's how it's looking. You see that? Isn't that beautiful? So I do have the pattern written out on my um, blog post for the pattern for the Starla headband, but this is how you do the star stitch. Okay, so for this one, now we're starting another row. We just go on to, into the second chain, pull up, into the third chain, pull up, three, into the next stitch, pull up, four loops, into the next stitch, five loops, into the next stitch, six loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over and pull it through and create your eye and then we're going to go right into that eye pull up a stitch right into between the last two spikes pull up a stitch into that big gapey hole pull up a stitch and into two more one two three four five six yarn over pull it through and chain and carry on and if you need to, pause and rewind to find out how you can do this. Maybe I went a bit too fast. Remember, you can always pause it and stop and rewind it, okay? So I really think the star stitch is so pretty. And I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for watching this tutorial on my Pam car. And I'm from Caraway Crochet. And please subscribe if you like my channel. Thank you so much.